how I think today's video is going to be um, a get ready with me. Um, I'm going to be doing my makeup and made my hair. I'm not sure I'm having it yet. But yeah, so let's get into my makeup part. So, I've already cleansed, toned, eye cream, and moisturised. So, this is my primer for today. If you're wondering why I'm so quiet, it's just that I'm on ill at the minute. I think I've got a viral infection coming. So, you know my look by now. You should all know my look by now. I get ill quite a lot. Don't even know if I can get ill though, I've hardly been ill there. I just bite through the coil. So I do not have a clue what I'm going to do with today's look. Um, I'm thinking a winged line. I'm not sure because it normally takes me forever to do a wing line because I have my contact lenses in. Um, and I go again on chill. Probably the end of the week, I think. So um, I've never done a winged line of that without like seeing. Because obviously I'm blinded to the back without my glasses on. As soon as I've got my contact lenses on, I'm going to have to destroy. Now let's put my foundation on. As you know, my foundation is the Revolution Concealer and Defining Foundation. It's supposed to be for coverage. Let me just get this off because I literally hate this foundation when it does that. It literally splashes of red and it's gone over my leggings. <sighs> we'll sort the rest out with this. So then I'm going to get my setting spray and I always do this for some reason, I don't know why. But I'm going to literally dampen my beauty blender and that. And then I'm just going to go around the whole of my face. And then I also bring it down my neck as well, so I'm sorry if it keeps changing colours, just that the sunlight is doing my head in. But literally, I'm trying to lose that, lose the natural light, but it's literally keeps changing the colour. So, so yep. Yeah. So that's my base done, now I'm just going to conceal. I'm going to use the same concealer as the foundation, which is the um, Revolution one. Um, this one is really light, this concealer is for me, it's because when I bought that foundation, I thought it was going to be like really dark for me, so I thought I'd get the white concealer so that um, I can lighten it if it is. And um, turns out that this foundation is a lot colour for my skin tone and so yeah. So 
so when I go up, I think tomorrow I think it is, I'm going to get some new concealer, because this one is just way too light, but really light. So yeah, it does add like a brightening effect to the skin, so I like that. Like so. I don't know whether to get the same colour or whether to just get a lighter colour because it kind of adds like a brightening effect and I do like the middle of my face bright. So, I don't know yet. So yeah, <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. okay, so that's my back done. Now I'm going to use powder, where's my powder brush gone? Aha, here it is. This is the um, MAC one. This is the in NC20 because I am pale as bitch. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is literally get this and I'm going to pat it around my mouth and my nose and on my eyes. And on my T-zone because that's where I mainly get oily and I mainly need more coverage but I do also just like dust around the rest of my face because I need to set the whole face because this girl's oily I've literally had enough of this front day like I have so yeah look so I don't know if it's probably to like, I don't know, we'll find out. Now I'm just going to use bronzer. So I like using this brush because it's really like small and angled so that you can get it that nice soft kind of on the look today because it's that time for that so yeah with under my chin I do kind of like do it across but then I also blend it down as well Do like blend it out and then I blend it all together. Like so and then I do let me just blend this bit out. Because it, I don't know whether it's just the way that the camera's picking up or what, but then I just do take whatever on my brush and run it down my nose, like so. And then I use the same brush, put it into the blush part, and then just put it on. Like so, and then and if it turns out that it's a little too, all I do is 
give them a powder brush and then literally just brush all over where where I've done the bronze on highlighter bronze on highlighter bronze on blush and then it just blends it all seamlessly together so you see that I know it's make, to making it look on camera like it's completely not blended together but it is it's just that because the camera picks up so much weird shit so then I'm just going to give them my little brush and then go on to the highlight and then I'm just going to put it at the top of my cheekbones just like at the bottom of my eye then I'll put it on my nose properly and then I'll put it underneath my brow bone as well and then that's that one done so then I'm going to move on to eyes so I'm going to be using this palette and this palette today <clears throat> as you can tell my throat's gone on me like always okay so then I'm going to get a blendy brush and just dust it in the this one but I'm also going to use the mirror as well for a look because the camera's really good on my nerves. So I thought I'm, I'm going to put the first colour from my eyebrow down to my eyelid like so and then I'm going to take this which come out of the Anastasia um palette I can't remember which one it was but you know I'm gonna use the blendy end the blendy end but yeah never mind and then I'm gonna I was going to do eyeliner, but I don't know what I can do off, it's fair. Because like I said, I haven't done it in ages. Um, not ages. I haven't done it since I haven't my contact lenses, because it was easier to do it with contact lenses, because I put my contact lenses in first, and then I'd put it like that on. And um so yeah, it was easier. So everything that I've done to that side, I'm going to do to this side as well. So yeah, I always got my mirror because literally, like, trying to see what you're doing on camera is so hard as I'm in the mirror because the camera keeps changing colour, so... But yeah, so that's like the overall look at the minute. So I'm mainly focusing this colour on the outer corner and just the outer half. So like it's only gone to like the middle of my eye. Because I don't want it to go too far into my eye, otherwise it's going to make it look really, um, really, really like dark then I don't want it to be dark because I want to keep my eyes open so then I'm going to take this pink shade here and I'm just going to put that on the inner and middle corner inner and middle inner and oh, you know what I mean I think I'm going to wet this though because it looks good when it's wet as well so yeah And I'm just gonna. Should I really do my eyeshadow first? But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do my eyeshadow to be honest. But yeah, I'll blend it all in together in a minute. So now I'm just gonna take.
for that. And now I'm going to get a blender brush and blend it out. So do I want hard edges? What I'll do is blend it out with a gentle hand. And all I do is window wipe a motion, so backwards and forwards. Just gentle, because you don't want to put so much pressure on your eyelid, because like literally, your eyelid is the part where your skin is the thinnest. So you don't want to put all that pressure on. I wish, you know what, I really do wish that I did my eyeshadow before I did my face because I completely forgot I don't think I was going to do what I should have to be fair so yeah like I said when I first started I had no idea what I was going to do then all I've done is got put the very tip of my flat brush on to, in the pink And I'm just running it along the inside of my eye, like so. It's so like kind of like the middle, <coughs> and then clean that off, and then put the very tip of it into that dark colour you use on the outside, and then if you that noise, it's my own stuff. Like, I do not have a clue what she's doing. But seriously. Like so. And then. Oi! Shut up! She's playing with the food because she likes putting the food on the floor on the bottom of a cage and playing with it. So you know what I'm saying that there. Okay, so that's that done. And I think I'm going to have to use a white eyeliner so that it opens my eye up because I don't want to, I don't want to put a black down because obviously This is, this is what I pull it with day in and day out. But you know what, I thought, oh, I'll do it in the morning, my video. So I thought, oh, it'll be a good time, because she will be up in the morning. No, I was wrong. She's up, playing around like a little shit. So I've done that. <sighs> I'm gonna leave off then. So yeah, so I've done that now. I'm just gonna get mascara. This is the Bella and Sex. I really need to get a big one of these, but I'll be on when I've run out of this one because I really love it. So then I'm just gonna. What I do is I literally put the brush at the bottom of my room, wiggle it about, and then pull it up as I do it because then it really get the bottom of your lash and the bottom of your lashes as well because normally when you do mascara you only do the top but I would literally put it at the bottom of my lashes and wig it up And then I do the same on the la on the front bit of the, the top of the lashes. I literally wiggle my rough lashes in between the brush hairs. So 
Yeah, I just have this part. And oh gosh, I will be using more of these colours. It's just that I'm really into the pinks at the minute because I've obviously it being spring, so. I can't really tell because obviously the colour keeps changing on my camera. So then I'll just go over with another top coat. Nice one, Debbie. Nice one. I've literally just put the um, Mascara on my finger. Nice one. So it's one of those there. So then all I do is I just put another coat on. So like I was doing before, I decided to put the mascara all over my hand. that and then I'll do just put on the back of my sleeve as well. What I'll do is literally just rub it on um because I don't really So I'm wearing face. There. Like that. Okay, maybe I'll use it with palette for a hair hair. Okay, so that's in there. Okay, so that's for the way long the day I use. So I think I'm going to do my eyebrows because you see I need to let them grow because now I'm just going to cut this set. So that done. Now I'm going to get a nude lip colour because I don't want to use that pink because it's going to be too bright and there's always a lot of pink going on in my um makeup so let's find a nude what colour is this no I don't want a pink I want a nude because there's already too much colour going on in my hat here it is 
So this is the nude that I'm going to be using today. This is the perfect nude, I think. So creamy. Okay, so that is the overall look. Um, I would put my hair in this video as well, but this video is already 25 minutes long, so I don't want to have it any longer. So I'm literally just going to do announcements and I'm going to go. But if you want to see the overall overall look, then go and check out my Instagram because I will be putting up a picture up of there um, at one o'clock if you want to see it. So yeah. Um, but if you um, like this video, like it, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified when I upload. Also, if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not video, my social media links will be down below. But also in the outro as well will be um, the name of my social media just in case the links ain't working. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think that's everything so I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, if you want to see the overall look with my hair as well, then do go and check my Instagram or my Twitter or my Facebook because it will be on there. So yeah, this is the overall look and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so guys, I'm back. I just thought I'd just show you how I've done my hair today. So I've tried to do a middle parting, best as I could because I haven't got, I don't know where my comb's gone. And then I just put it into these pigtails. For now, I don't know whether I want to turn these pigtails into buns or whether I'm just going to leave it like this, but I don't know, I might leave it like this to be fair. I think it's proper cute, so, yeah. So here's my overall makeup look with my hair. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.